there was a really short time frame between releasing the Dust Files album and starting up promotional work for Parachutes. Was that hard? Would you have liked to have spent more time with Dust Files promotional? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think if, uh, if the time allowed, we probably would have done like a full US run, maybe like a support slot, or something like that. Be really fun, you know. But uh, it just wasn't in the cards, you know, like. James is well, if someone now. would stop, you know, doing all kinds of other stuff. <laughs> hey, no, the both of us. That's the yeah, I know, I know. Me. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way it goes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I'm glad we got to do what we got to do yeah. so far. Yeah, no, those shows were great. I'm still mad I missed the Bowery one, but Bowery was fun. I didn't know that floor could bounce like that. It was crazy. Recent books you read that you like? Oh, I'm I'm, I'm reading uh, that Ozzy biography right now. Which is enjoyable. It's strange. Well, enjoyable. I'm sure he has a lot of stories. Yeah. To tell. I wonder how much of it's true, but I, I mean, it's pretty enjoyable. Uh, oh, someone uh, just told me to read. Uh, I have it queued up on my Kindle. Uh, what did I just buy? My Struggle Book One. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but uh, Carl uh, Ove Nosgard. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't read it yet, but I, I hear it's really good. That was highly recommended. And then, what else did I get? Um, oh, I just recently finished uh, that Patty Smith book, uh, Just Kids, the first one. Yeah. So good. Oh, my God. Uh, I'm going to read the second one, which you just did. And then Laura Jane's book is coming out. Yeah, it is coming out. When is that coming out? I don't remember. Okay. Um, but soon, I think. Uh, well, that I'll definitely read. So are we ever going to see, you know, the biography of Frank Iyer? I don't know if I'll do a biography. I think that's weird. Also, too, I have a terrible memory. <laughs> so I well, but then you help. can make stuff up, and then really, you know, people can't really call you on it because you're like, "Well, this happened." I swear. <laughs> that sounds shitty. <laughs> <laughs> well, but then you could call it fiction, and then you're okay. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Did anyone ever read that? Oh, really? Me oh. Making, making up the story of where, <laughs> where all these things came from. Yeah. No. I would. Uh, no, I very much would like to. I have. And sorry, I have so much. Just like in notebooks and on like phone things and you know, short stories and all these things, like I haven't put them together. And it's funny, uh, Lindsay, uh, Derek's wife, last night we, we were talking about the same thing and uh, how much I really, really, really want to do it. But keep putting on a whole thing, it's like oh, like different things that's coming up. And, like I feel like it, it would it would be really hard for me to write that and write like a record at the same time because you end up taking it from and, and, and things start to like get weird out of context and you, I don't know, it's strange. I, I need to like sit down and, and focus. Just like, yeah. I don't know, because like when, when I saw, when Laura Jane did this tour, um, it was the acoustic set and it was the most powerful and intimate thing I'd ever seen or experienced in my life because, you know, she was reading excerpts from her diaries and then playing songs that related to that right. and it gave it such context that you know I mean it was really personal and so that was like really hard to deal with because you're like you know this isn't some kind of theoretical you know right. kind of musical thing no it this happened to her this is what she was feeling so it was really really hard to deal with that you know it was very emotional but it was also really really powerful so I think with her mixing the writing and the music together was just is inspiring um, and that works. So people can do that. Yeah. You know? um, also, too, I think. I mean, all, you know, I'm sure all the songs that she was playing weren't all new songs either. Mm -hmm. Too, you know. So like, that's really interesting to like, you know, to write about your life and then and then put that in the context of like where you were when you wrote those songs yeah. as well. And that, that's really awesome. But like, for me to be able to sit down and and, and, and write a record from scratch and. and um, as, as open and honest and as clear as I want to be, like, I would feel like I was uh, a little bit too all over the place to do a uh, book as well. I don't know. Maybe it's just not the right time in my life to be able to yeah. do both those things. Awesome. You know, plus a Death Spells record. I think Slax is looking for you right now. Really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. He's on the box. <laughs> yeah, tell him to come, come in here if he was me. Okay. Thanks, man. That's okay. Um, so, recent movies you've enjoyed? Huh. 
Um, just for fun stuff. So. Yeah. Oh, um, the lobster. So that was awesome. Okay. Yeah. Did you see it? No. It was on my list of movies. Yeah, see I saw it on a plane. I thought it was awesome. Really? Yeah, it, not what I expected. By any means, but like, I want to watch it again. Okay. Yeah, I loved it. Some it movies you have to watch one. Of yeah, yeah, absolutely. I've been seeing a lot of movies on planes, so I'm like limited to a certain selection. Oh, and right? they're usually not a very good selection. I know. Usually um, they're terrible. Yeah, I've seen a lot of terrible movies lately. Uh, I worked at a video store for almost 10 years. That's I've awesome. watched a lot of bad movies. Oh, man. A lot. I love that. Watched a lot of good movies, too, though. I'm oh, sure. Any advice to people who are thinking about trying to be more creative with their lives? Mm. I mean, you know, uh, embrace that fear and go for it, basically. Uh, you know, there's no right or wrong. That's a lot easier said than done. Oh, of course, of course it is. But like you know, if you don't jump out of that plane, you know, you'll never know. And uh, I would much rather uh, hit the ground at full force than never know. Anything else you want to say to people? Um, this might be the last time you actually hear my voice after tonight. <laughs> so, you know, ever be able to make another sound? Uh, just you know. Thank you so much for 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 being so patient and, and letting me, you know, do the things that I love to do, basically. I mean, it's kind of awesome. I mean, if you think about it, like, the stuff that I get to do with my life is fucking ridiculous. And, uh, very much appreciated. Well, I think you inspire a lot of people, and people really appreciate that. Well, that's nice to know. What? I mean, just looking at all the stuff that your fans bring to you. Oh yeah. At each show, it's just it's overwhelming. It is. Yeah. Especially the talent. Yeah. With all this crazy. Really. Yeah, I think that's that's probably all I have time for at this point. Thank you, as always. Such a pleasure. <laughs>